What's up, AJ fams? Ms. J here, and we're gonna do something different today. We, I got a new build I want to try. It's really gonna focus on zero to sustaining life and pretty much getting stronger as the battle goes on. So we're gonna focus on a couple of talents that I'm gonna tell you about. The first one is gonna be like season marked. Each each six kills, pretty much your basic attack goes up plus one, and it doesn't it doesn't go away. So that's awesome. I know another one that I really want us to focus on. Is down at um mm, level four. Sorry, it was the very next one. That's how you know I'm tired. <laughs> but it's gathering power. Every time you kill a hero, you get a maximum ability of one percent. The max is fifteen percent, but man, that is amazing. So we're gonna test this build out, see how strong it is, and see if it's a great build. I think it. I think it might have some potential. Let's try it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, what we're going to do is we're really going to focus on making Zeratul strong as the game progress, but making him sustainable to be able to outlast pretty much any fight um, if, if you can fight a one-on-one. -on -one. So my personal favorite is, uh, well, not, let me take that back, because for this build, I forgot. We're going to do something different. I just talked about it, man. That's crazy. We're going to pick Season Marksman. Season Marksman, every six minion kills, it boosts your base attack one. Or every two um, hero kills, it boosts your attack one. So can okay, all you micro all three of those guys? That's dope. All right, so I've actually never seen a Viking before, so this will be an interesting play style uh, to see how this goes. So see, we already have one, so we're going to really just focus on roaming and not being touched and seeing what's going on with this guy here because he obviously feels that somebody's here. So we're just going to play it easy. All right, so we already got one guy who came over here and grabbed something. Let's see what's on their team. There's a Zeratul on their team as well. So we're going to have to play a little careful. Play a little smart. We're going to get out. Do a, few, do a few hits and get out of there. No, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous right now. So we're just actually just gonna pull away at the moment. Pull away and go help at the top. It's not safe right now. I feel like every time I play with Zeratul, there's always another one on the opposite team. I can never really just enjoy owning people by myself. Come in here and send some help. Block his way. Let him take off. Get the teammate a little space. Let the man breathe a little bit. Get off his back. Oh! Oh! We're going to go through this wall first chance we get <laughs> and get out of here. <laughs> get this water. Did not expect that. They have they have two um, two hidden characters. We're not going to let her get away. We're going to body block her. She tried to send her clone, but I know which one's the real her. It didn't matter. <laughs> it did not matter. That was nice, though. It's definitely... Definitely try to try to come up on me. So this is actually gonna be an instant match because they have two hidden care uh, two invisible characters and we only have one. So we'll see how this goes. Get down here quickly because we're gonna start hopping on this objective as fast as possible. Um, like I said, you know, killing over time is gonna be super important. We should get as many kills as we can real fast before they get down here. So we're gonna pick up these. Oh, I didn't even see her grab that. So we're going to head on out here and get a little, little backup, little SOS help. Take some of this damage since I can do, uh, so I can hit multiple enemies at one. Gonna continue grabbing as many skulls as possible. Teammates are doing well. They're holding the objective really well. Alright, so the next one that we're going to build is takedowns increase ability powers. So every hero, every time we kill a hero, our ability powers will increase at least one. It looks like we got people trying to flee. We're going to do another body block. And kill another one. Come here and get a few hits off. Make sure that nobody gets away. We might better get another kill. We are being very aggressive, but it is becoming very off. Oh, that was a clone. I thought that was her. It's coming off very successful. This aggressive gameplay is coming off really strong. Teammate has already attacked the big guy. It's not always the safest thing to do, especially when you know there might be people around, but that's okay. We should be alright. Seems like we're pushing well. Let's 
Let's make sure we collect all those. We are good to go. We're going to get out of here and get back ready. Actually, we're just going to return to base because we are low on MP. So that would be the best thing to do at this moment. Right now, I'm really liking this build. It's not a lot going wrong with it. Um, we're doing we're doing some good damage because right now we are at a four stack, so our basic um, our basic attack does um, an extra four damage, which is great. And since we killed three heroes, our um, bonus our ability power is going to do an extra three percent. So we are already starting to build a very strong Zeratul that I think will out counter theirs, depending on if their build is similar to ours, ours or not. He doesn't see us. We're hoping he presses up. He presses up. We're gonna stop him from the back. Up, oh, look like I brought look like I brought out this special guest. She's gonna try to get away, but she's not gonna be able to get away because we do way more damage to her. That was her clone. Wow, that was great. That was actually a really great clone. I don't really know where she is at this point, so we're gonna have to be super careful. But we're gonna sit here and help work work on this uh wall. Looks like he wants to do a little damage to me. Zerato showed up, but that was a very bad, <laughs> bad Zerato. Look, you, you want to stand at the wall, that's fine. You can hold that. <laughs> you can hold that for me. Get on out of here. We're going to keep pushing up. Like I said, as we get more hero kills, as me and dies around us, because we do have that uh, very first talent, we are stacking up our attack. So we are actually getting stronger as we progress in this match. We are going to pick our next ability, first aid. That's definitely going to help build the sustainability. Um, I know it's not used a lot, but I personally love it. I think it's a great thing to have. We got baby girl back here trying to keep sneak on us. We're just going to keep pushing with our with our goblin. Their goblin is dead, so um, goblin. Their golem is dead, so we are able to keep pushing and not have to worry about any issues there. But it also looks like they are pushing up on our base. But it looks like our teammate's holding it back. He should be okay. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. He's able to do enough to hold them back for the moment. We actually may end this a little faster than I thought because the team is not pushing through. We're gonna we're gonna scare him. We're gonna get him out of here because he's just getting on my nerves. <laughs> But that's all right. As the team seems to not care that we're coming through, and they're gonna keep trying to push through. We're gonna go ahead and just try to get this win. This may be one of the fastest games in history I have played. And get yeah, don't get me wrong, people. I have played quite a few games lately. It seems like they are just possibly maybe even giving this one up. We are still pushing through without our golem because. It's pretty much one on four, two on four. So we're gonna play back a little bit, see what's happening. We're at the point where we're gonna get our ability. We're gonna get uh we're gonna get prism because we're gonna stop them from killing our teammates. And we're gonna get out of here as soon as we can. That's our time to escape. That is our time to escape. Uh I'm not a big fan of leaving teammates behind. So we we are actually going to try to save them. That's not possible. We're going to get out of here. It is not safe. That was horrible. That was horrible. Actually, no, that wasn't horrible at all. It was really good. I think my stasis was actually a horrible attack. We are going to see if we can flank out there and get him. He's actually going to try to pull through. Think he's safe. We're going to get the kill and get out of there before mommy even knew what happened. <laughs> we'll take that kill and get out of here real fast. That's one of my favorite moves to do, honestly. Oh, it looks like there's company here. We'll keep our company. Did both, both of them aren't invisible. Are they? Oh, okay. It might have been one of her clones. That worried me for a second. I was like, they have more invisible people? Oh, I didn't see that. We have to go play. The mines are open now, so we need to get down there as fast as possible um, to stop them from doing any more harm. Kill them quickly and head down. Um, whenever we get down here late, it's always a little scary because they may be playing the base, but they're not. They're not. Usually some people play the entrance, but they decided not to do that. 
we hit him with a <laughs> we hit him with a quick spike. Let him know that we see him, and we have full intentions to kill him. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna hit him with a stasis because I don't want him to get away. I don't want him to get away. We'll kill him real fast. Make sure he doesn't get away. <laughs> Take care of him without any issues. Look like we um we're gonna pop a first aid. Okay, we're gonna get out of here because it's not safe. <laughs> Our job is not to stay here, but as you see already, sustainability is great. We are able to fight longer and help our teammates longer without the fear of actually dying, which is the most important thing. We're going to see if we can catch her real fast, not let her get away from us. We're going to end her real fast, take her out, help the teammates, do our job. Let's check those stats. We got 11 kills, no deaths, 17,000 on siege damage. And 7,000 on hero damage, which is pretty freaking epic. Looks like we also might get the strongest golem again, even though we did get a late start down here, and we will. We're actually, instead of teleporting, we're going to head down because I feel like they may push, and if they push, um, if they try to push through, we might need to be prepared for that. So I'm actually going to hang back and give some team support here to make sure that uh, they do not get away as the, as the rest of our teams push through. So we're going to play a little defense here. Keep an eye out on the enemies. Seems like the enemies are actually pushing back to go help. So this should be an easy kill of this golem. We're going to try to kill this golem real fast. Kill this golem as quickly as possible. Focus all our attacks on them. Cause they are it looks like our team is pushing through. It looks like we might actually get this uh win a lot faster than I thought. Our team is definitely handling them. I am watching this action go unfold. Can they clutch it? Can they clutch it? We're at 63%. We're at 60%. We're at 55%. We're at 52%. 50%. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I don't know if they'll clutch it. I don't know if they clutch it. I got a little distracted. But it looks like they might. We are at 37. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this match may be over. This golem is putting in work. He is doing his thing. We're at 15%. 11, 9, 7. And that is game. That is game, everybody. Great job. We are super excited. That was the fastest game I possibly played. We wrecked them really well. We wrecked them so bad I didn't really even get to show this build. <laughs> but that's all right because, I mean, hey, a win is a win. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, this character, is, this build is really based on survivability and getting stronger over time. As you can see, we had no deaths. We're right up there with the most kills. We did 23,000 siege damage 7,000 hero damage and we contributed um a, a high amount so i mean this this build is great um i want to expand on it more but i thought it was pretty awesome um if you like the video definitely hit the subscribe button show some love join this family um the family and the community that we have built here is really based on good clean fun so if you want to be in a family that's full of fun and we have conversations all the time and really the gameplay is all the value of having a good time, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Um, once again, I really love Zeridal. Um You can tell I'm tired, but I'm glad to get this video out. And I'll show y'all different ways to play with Zeridal and not die so much. That's the goal. But until next time, everybody, MSJ out. I'm going to bed. So I'll see y'all later. Good night. Show you the